welcome to day four of Vlogmas. Today I decided I was going to do something fun just because I wanted to. I'm going to do the Harry Potter tag which I took from Poland Bananas Books on YouTube. She's one of my favorite booktubers right now. She's super fun and energetic and loud and I love her. Let's get started. First question is favorite Harry Potter book. I don't know why I have to think about that because I really don't. My favorite Harry Potter book is Prisoner of Azkaban. I love Sirius so much and he plays like a huge role in Prisoner of Azkaban because he is the Prisoner of Azkaban. Second question is least favorite book. My least favorite book might be Half-Blood Prince. So much happens. I don't remember any of it. The most that I remember is like Slughorn was there. Number three is favorite movie. It's either the first one because of just the introduction to the whole world or Prisoner of Azkaban. I don't even necessarily think it's the best of the Harry Potter movies, but I think it's my favorite. The next question is which movie would you remake? Half-Blood Prince. Everything is so green. Whenever I think of that movie, I think of the color green. What parts of the books or the movies made you cry? I started reading the books a couple of years ago, and I remember getting through most of the first book and being like, yes, I didn't cry! My emotional attachment is there, but not so overwhelming that I want to just die. But then the scene at the end of the book where Dumbledore is giving out all the extra points at the end of the year and he gives Neville that extra 10 points for standing up to his friends. Basically any time throughout the books when somebody is proud of Neville, I just lose it. If you could hook up with one character, who would it be and why? Uh, basically any of the Weasleys could get it, except for Percy. He made Molly feel really badly and I can't forgive him for that. But any of the other Weasleys can get it. What would your Patronus be? Uh, Pottermore told me that my Patronus was a white mare and I live in an equestrian town and there are horses everywhere and I could just exist without them being near me. So I say hedgehog because they're cute and spiky. They have the best of both worlds. Favorite quote. So my favorite quote comes from one of my favorite characters. It's Sirius. <laughs> See what I did there? We've all got both light and dark inside us. What matters is the part we choose to act on. That's who we really are. My other favorite quote is actually on this shirt. I have like a really weird obsession with the Marauders map and so I solemnly swear that I am up to no good and mischief manage are also two of my favorite quotes from the series. What house would you be in? You guys already know the answer to this one. I'm a Hufflepuff. Favorite Weasley. How am I supposed to pick? Oh uh, wait, no, no lies. My favorite is Molly. I keep telling everybody Molly Weasley is my favorite character hands down because she is. She's a freaking badass. I want to be the kind of mother that Molly Weasley is. Favorite villain. Instead of answering that directly, I'm gonna say I think it's really, really interesting how we love to hate Voldemort because without him we wouldn't have the series at all, but we just straight up hate Dolores Umbridge. Like, there is no love towards her whatsoever. If you could meet any member of the cast who would you meet and why? Maggie Smith. Oh, okay. I want to meet Maggie Smith. Done. Julie Walters too. I'll meet Julie Walters in a freaking heartbeat. Have you played any of the video games? I haven't. I watched Ro from Nerdy Nummies play Lego Harry Potter. Do you like the end? That depends now. Because technically there's like three ends to the series. There's the epilogue, which some people like and some people don't. We get Teddy Lupin and that's good enough for me. Sure. Richard Harris versus Michael Gambone. Sarah and I had a discussion, a very short discussion about this quite some time ago. As I said something about Michael Gambone and how I liked him and, and Sarah disagreed. I get it. The fandom will never forgive him for All right, you put your name in the cupboard of fire. But the last the last Harry Potter movie that Richard Harris was in was Chamber of Secrets, and that's only the second movie. Not that that's not enough to really go off of, because you do have that comparison there no matter what, but I would have liked to have seen what he could have given to the character that Michael Gambone couldn't. Unfortunately, nobody could have stopped him from dying. I don't really have a preference for either. Favorite Hogwarts class. I mean, it's magic school. All of the classes sound really freaking cool. But if I have to pick one, it's probably Transfiguration or Care of Magical Creatures because I love animals so much. Which spell do you think would be the most useful to learn? Are they not all useful? Molly Weasley got some spells going on at home in the burrow where she just has all of the chores doing themselves for her. If you could bring one character back to life, who would it be and why? This question had to be on the list because there's so many dead characters. I'm bringing back Sirius. Thinking about it, Harry is basically the only family that Sirius has left, regardless of the fact that Sirius is also the only family that Harry has left, even though not really because 
like Molly basically adopts him. So like Harry has the Weasleys, Sirius has like Ramus, which is good. But that's it. Hallows or Horcruxes? Since you have to kill people to make Horcruxes, I'm gonna say Hallows. The last question is how much does Harry Potter mean to you? I came into the fandom late because I always kind of felt like since I didn't read the books, I wasn't really part of the fandom, even though I had seen the movies and I knew a lot of stuff from the fandom on the internet, but I was, I w never really felt like a part of the actual Harry Potter community until I read the books. Harry Potter magic is magical no matter where you get it from, but being a full part of the community is just so wonderful. So those are all the Harry Potter tag questions. If you would like to answer them, I'll put the questions in the description below and you can either answer them in the comments or in a video if you make videos. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. In the comments below, like I said, you can fill out the tag or, you know, just respond to my answers if you really want to. If you're not already subscribed to The Princess and the Scrivener, please do so down below, especially if you want to keep watching Vlogmas. The Scrivener will see you tomorrow and I will see you the next day. Harry, did you put your name in the Goblet of Fire? Like, that's not something that we're ever going to forget.